name. What did I name him? Oh. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my July favorites for 2017. I actually don't have that many favorites this month. I have a lot of song favorites, but that's really it. So, without further ado, let us get started. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is my hair. Because I always talk about my hair, because apparently my hair is like my child. But I've been loving wearing my hair like this lately. Basically, I just make my mom French braid my hair. Because your girl doesn't know how to French braid her own hair. She can barely, like, just braid a regular braid. So I get my mom to do it when I just get out of the shower, and then I leave them in overnight and take them out, and it makes these, like, crinkly curls. They're not really curls. It's more like I crimped my hair, but like with braids. I've been getting like a lot of compliments on it, so I keep making my mom do it because I think it looks cute, so yes. The next three things are like items or like miscellaneous things, but the first thing I'm going to talk about are these pink leggings. Can't really, you know, see them on camera, but they are super duper long and they're actually long enough for me, which if you don't know, I'm six feet tall. And it is very hard to find pants or leggings that actually reach all the way down to your, like, actual feet, not just, like, the top of your ankles. Plus, I got them on sale. They were originally $60, and we got them for $25. So your girl is an excellent thrift store shopper, even though it was a warehouse sale, but same thing, pretty much. The next thing is also a clothing item, and it is this sweater that I am wearing. It has the maple leaf on it, and it also has writing that is our national anthem inside of it. It is so warm and cozy, and I've been loving crew neck sweaters. They're like all I want to wear lately. You've probably been able to tell with all my videos, I'm usually wearing a crew neck sweater. They're just super comfy and oversized and warm, and I love them so much. And this was also at the warehouse sale, so <laughs> rock on for sales. The next thing I actually got at the very beginning of the month, which I love because it is just so cute, and it is this little lion plushie my mommy bought me. Because she's adorable and she loves me very much, I hope. Hi, Mom. You're also one of my favorites always every month. His name is Regal and his birthday is December 8th but I used to collect these like crazy when I was younger. I have so many in my basement. They're like Beanie Babies. I don't know if anybody out of the 90s still has these but like in the 90s they were a thing and like whew I had so many of them. The next thing that I've been like in love with are my little cactus succulent children. I have many of them. They're beside me. They're right here. My little children. I've named them all. This is Harold. This is Star and Squiggle. This is Jemima. This is Felix with a PH, not an F. This is Peter, and this is Richard. There's two of them as well, they are twins. And then this one is Linda, and it's Linda Listen. If you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But they are my children, and I actually don't take care of them. My mom does, she waters them for me because I always forget. But they are my children and I love them very much. I went to go see a movie with my mom, which I absolutely loved this month. It is hilarious and such a good like movie to go see if you don't want to think about anything but want to like laugh a lot. It is Girls Trip. The movie is starring Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, and Jada Pickett Smith. It was also featuring a new actress that I had never heard before. Her name is Tiffany Haddish. She was my absolute favorite character. She was so funny. She plays a girl named Dina who's like super trashy but like it's so funny the way she portrays this character. I loved her so much. She's one of my favorite actresses now. I'm hoping that she like plays this kind of role in her other movies. I haven't seen any other movies with her in it but it was so good. I originally went to go see it for Queen Latifah because I love Queen Latifah. Like everything she's in I'm like yes honey slay me. And now I have a new actress that's one of my favorites so win-win for me. Now on to my favorite part of the video. When I get to dance and lip sync terribly for you all. I have a total of five songs that I have been playing on repeat this month. Honestly, I could have a million songs if I included John Bellion, but we've been there, done that. We all know I love John Bellion. So the first song that I have been loving this month is Malibu by Miley Cyrus. I hated this song when it first came out because I thought it was super slow, but then I kept listening to it and I thought that it got catchier and catchier as I listened. And honestly, I love everything Miley Cyrus puts out, so I was really like disheartened when I didn't like this song, but you know, Miley Cyrus is so underrated and I ended up loving the song anyway. <laughs>
the like ah part literally gives me such like little mermaid vibes and i am living for it the next song that i have been absolutely loving this month is something just like this by the chain smokers The next song, I hated with a passion when I first heard it. And then, like the Miley Cyrus song, I kept listening to it because it would be on the radio at work and I just had to keep listening to it. And then it grew on me. And now, I can't stop playing it. And it is Bad Liar by Selena Gomez. I was walking down the street the other day, trying to distract myself, but then I see your face. Oh wait, that's someone I saw, trying to play a chord, trying to make it disappear. It's just like a battle of Troy, there's nothing set up here on us. I have literally been obsessed with that, and when she does the like, oh, thing, I'm like, oh, girl, I love you. She's like just so perfect, and it just irks me, but like also, you go, Selena, you go. And then the next song that I have been absolutely loving, playing on repeat obsessively, is Reminding Me by Sean Hook, featuring Vanessa Hudgens. Their voices together just do something to my body. I just love their voices together like oh so good the final song that I love I heard from Ali from Hard Rock Quarters she had it in her favorites last month I think but I love Black Bear so I didn't know this was a thing and once I heard it I was like yes give me more Black Bear so it is Do Re Me by Black Bear I love it so much and it's such like a fuck you song it just makes me so happy all right guys so that was my July favorites for 2017 let me know down below some of your favorites for this month and I will see you all in my next video goodbye